What's happening guys? In today's video, we are gonna change out our spring-loaded basement door holders to the magnetic door holders. My life just got easier. Hey guys, I'm Mark with The Art of RVing. If you're not a sub, become a sub. Hit us up on Instagram. And today, those pesky basement door latches, they fall and they hit you in the head and, uh, but today, I'm finally going to install magnetic ones. And it takes a square bit to take this latch off, which that was, I thought it was a Phillip head, but oh, apparently not. So I'm going to take this out like so. And another thing I noticed is that when I pull this off, oh baby, oh man, uh, it has this kind of caulking here and I'm gonna use the same kind of caulking. So the first thing that I noticed that my holes don't match. So this needs to go this way because the latch itself, you're gonna see, it has some left over on the side here. So this latch needs to be pushed over into that hole, leaving that, oh, leaving that hole exposed. And by doing that, I'll be able to have a full magnet onto this side of the door. So I am going to get some of that putty and continue. I'm gonna put this black screw that came out there originally in the first latch back in here and barely put it in there so I have some kind of sealant around it. You see what I've done there? I'm gonna seal the magnetic holder with this caulk cord weather seal. Just cut me a little piece off, stick it behind it, put my screws in, and push the putty down behind it. Off another piece, right there. And then I'll trim it up when we get over there and put it in. Then I'm just gonna stick this in here like that. That, and then I'm just gonna repeat it for the other one. Try not to drill through the RV, which I've done before. <laughs> Hopefully not this time. I line it up, keep it pretty straight. Try not to, don't cinch it down just yet. There we go, okay. There we go, perfect. Turn around it. I need some more I can add on. Be careful, don't cut that out. All right, that's a pretty good beer in there. How do you mark this spot? So how do you keep it on here to know where to drill into here? Uh, that's difficult, I had to figure that one out. Okay, so what I had to do is I had to get my other latch and push this piece of putty onto this and then, oh, dang, that thing is tight. Snap this other one here and then pull up my door, okay? Push on it and it won't stick on there so that you can tell where you need to. You've gotta stick your hand in there. There's a little notch right there and you just hope that, there you go, that it didn't move enough. So it's right there, I'll show you. Okay, so this is what you should have here. So all I did, I just marked my spot. I just pushed it in around the side, pulled it off. Oh no, I'm gonna have to do it again. Okay, tighten it up. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it works. Let's see. Yes, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. And yeah, see how close I got to being on right there. Looks pretty close. Oh man, my life just got easier. I was wondering if the wind was gonna blow these, but hey, get the good magnets, because these things are pretty powerful. I mean, it should keep that up, but man, I don't have to do any more of that latching right here. Oh, hallelujah, man. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean up the putty that's around this one push in that putty and clean up around this and that's how I install the magnetic latches. If you guys have some comments or you know a better way of doing it, please put them down into the description. And I hope this video helps you so much. I didn't put them on for just like a couple years. Then I thought I could use my holes that were already on there, which was only half true because I can only use one hole because I had to move it over this way. So don't don't start drilling in until you've already uh, went in there and pre-fit your magnetic holders, that's for sure. So. Okay, awesome guys, I'll see you in the next video.